This is exciting. I'm so glad to meet you. It's such a relevant topic these days and, you know, trying to move forward with the whole diversity. How important is it, this project today? Oh, my goodness. Uh, an all Latino cast, um, you know, that has such a tailored story, right? And nothing had to be changed to say, well, you know, it, it's it, they're not characters that are written necessarily Latino. Or, or sometimes the other side of things are characters that are uh, happen to be Latino. No, this is a Latino story, right? It, with a character that is larger than life, um, that has a a very justice, uh, um, a just cause behind it. That yes, it is a little violent, a little crazy, but you know this comes from an area that has a very turbulent passage, as we say. And so um, it's unapologetic and it's very specific and detailed, um, and it has a, a vision by someone who grew up and came up from that place. You know, I, I can't think of a movie. You know, it's, it's it's scary to say that things are original these days, right? Because they say everything comes from somewhere, but it's 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 very much an original idea. That that alone, and to be spearheaded by a, an all Latino cast. One thing you want the audience to come away with when they see this film, what would that one thing be? Uh, that the we have to question all our assumptions, right? We feel like. I don't want to say there's a, a, a homogeneity that a homogeneous way we we describe Latinos, right? We, you know, I'm, I come from Indiana, and um, when I moved to, so it's going to be a longer answer in terms of what I wanted to come away with. But when I moved to New York, people just assumed that I was Puerto Rican, right? When I was down in Miami, I was Cuban. When I came to, came to California, oh, maybe he's Mexican. It's like no, no, no. We're we we all have different identities. Each nation has its own culture, its own subculture, and even more specifically here with El Chicano, um, there is the next generation of, of Latinos that grew up in that specific area that may not necessarily identify with just being Mexican, right? And that there is a, a, a culture clash uh, and a generational clash between Mexican and Chicano, and they came up Chicanos. They came up in a way that. Um, it's, it's almost like its own state, its own state of mind, right? It's almost like a, a, a people without a country, you know? Uh, it was a time that, you know, right? You know, so it's like the Southwest, you know, was was, Me was Mexico at some point, then the U.S. took it, and then these sort of orphans came up from Chicano, and they're proud of their, their heritage. So um, come away with it from, you know, it's, it's action-packed, it's got a cool uh, detective story behind it, and um, it's got a voice for the Chicano that are very marginalized and, and, and unrepresented. Great answer. Cool. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks again. Thanks. Well, that's how I got it. I got an audition, and I read it, and I haven't done a lot of film lately um you know i live in television land but but i read it and i was like <gasps> and i've played everybody's mother at this point i didn't know who was in it i just was like oh and again i was just saying this is like the black panther thing hadn't hit the no, the me the you know no great craze yet and i feel like there's this momentum of people just finding their own superheroes, right? Finding their own people to look up to, and why not, you What's know? The one thing about this character you absolutely adored? <sighs> Her fierce motherness. She's my mom. I get to play my mom a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us. Congratulations, I can't wait to see the film. I play Gallo, and he's like the, the, main, uh, the main bad guy. But see, look at me. Do I look like a bad guy? Come on. But uh, no, it's fun. It's a, it's a fun role, and I'm, I'm really just proud to be part of the film. It's an all Latino cast, directed by a Latino. And I think it's important for us to put our own product, because most of our people buy most of the tickets at the, you know, at the movies. And so uh, this is something for them to come and check out and feel proud and, and feel like there's, it, they can identify, you know? If there's one thing you can share with us, you learned about yourself doing this film, what would that be? Oh, you get to throw this hard question at me. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, learn about myself. I, I guess that, uh, you know, you know, I think I, I'll, I'll answer that by saying that, uh, that I've been doing this for a long, long time, you know, for, gosh, um, 35 years. And uh, with this film and this movie and this role, I kind of was able to bring all that experience and just, you know, feel real at home. And, and, and focused and know what I'm doing, you know? Because it's kind of taking that long for me to know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's all a journey. If you could describe your character in three words, how would you describe him? 
uh, ambitious. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, how about how about no? Here, here's a better word. I think he's vengeful. Ambitious and vengeful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, you look amazing. Thank you so much for talking with us. Can't wait to see the film. Thank you.